mic check one two mic check one two well 2016 is gone we're in 2017 happy new year everybody after my first vlog i got a couple of questions um that i want to an answer as well as i have a couple of comments i'm going to bring you up to date on some to some stuff that we did but between the time that i did that vlog um into the new year um, we give out some gifts and stuff. I'm gonna just give you a little clips of that. Hello, Miss Mary, I'd like to present this token on behalf of my client, Rosemary Bowen. Just a small token that you can send to her. Thank you. 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 Yeah, I present that present to you. Thank you. After my first vlog, I got a couple of questions that I'm gonna answer. And this vlog, I'm gonna give a little information about myself and my background and where I've been because I'm gonna do some now and I'm gonna do some in some upcoming vlogs. Question number one. One of my colleagues from a radio station that I was with a couple months back asked me what I used to edit my videos. I used Final Cut Pro 10. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way. Hello! So the bad cover! Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way. Actually, it was 10.2. I recently upgraded to 10.3. Second question, how long it takes to shoot? Well, how long it took me to, to shoot and edit my first vlog? Um, it took uh, basically a day. Um, it was just some clips that I had that day, which was the, the actual Thursday that we went to the mall. And um, I had some other stuff from previously, like um, the stuff I used with Shinobi Peters from St. Vincent. Shinobi Peters, okay. what do you think about the mall? It's sexy. The mall sexy? The mall sexy. So I would say overall, between learning the program, because I was using it basically for well, in full for the first time, it took me about six hours to edit. Um, to shoot the clips, it take about a couple of minutes actually. It didn't even take an hour to shoot all those clips. Summary about myself, um, well, brief. I started off being a technician, that's a radio and TV technician. I then move on to DJing. I don't actually have clips, I have pictures. Then I got into radio. Uh, my first radio job was at 96.1 from 1998 to 2005. Actually, radio was my dream job. And strange enough, it was just, you know, like most times people think that they need a hookup to get through. I actually did a demo. Now, I have a question for the viewing audience right now. And the question is, on WhatsApp, we have certain groups and the groups that we have give us information like roadblock and license officers ripping tent um, to avoid certain places and drive on other roads and take alternative routes. Do you think information like that is making us a more lawless nation? Do you think that the actual guys who it is indulging in certain activities have this WhatsApp group and using it to their benefit? You can leave a comment or a video response to the question, it will be greatly appreciated. Some content creators are very, very, very idle. Check this out. Um, in closing, I don't like ungrateful people in the sense ungrateful is like let me just say you were in a certain situation you were in a certain situation a certain spot and somebody came along and and lift you out of that spot by doing something positive in your life and then maybe your your relationship with that person went sour and then you actually decide to to do something out of timing where that person is concerned i don't i don't condone that i do i think that if somebody do something for you no matter what, what it has happened between you and that person, you should remember if that person had not done that for you at that time, you wouldn't have been the person now with the strength 
to disrespect that person. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This helps me in my quest to bring you more content. Stay tuned, I'm gonna bring you more.